All praise and glory to the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom and welcome to TGC. In today's video, we're going to look at a claim made by Mansour from Dawa Wise at Speaker's Corner. So what we just had a meeting, right? and he said, the day you eat of the tree, you shall surely die. That's in Genesis, in the book of Genesis. You shall surely die. So Adam ate from the tree. Did they die? God was lying. Did they? Did, 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 did Adam die? No, I'm 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 looking at the consequence because did, no, I'm sorry, no, did, I am I am answering. They didn't die. 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 No. He didn't die, so God was lying. So people thought God was lying. Yeah, not really. So, yeah, yeah. Did you not say? The day you eat from the... Die. Die. One second, one second. Right, right. Someone had to die, right? One moment. One moment. The day you eat from the tree is the day that you will what? Yeah, yeah. Surely die. Who will die? Adam. Good. Did Adam die? He didn't die. So what's God telling the truth? That's the thing. No, no, no. Why did he not die? Why did is that, no, no, no. Me. He wasn't telling the truth. No, no, no. Why did God not allow Adam to die? One moment. Is that just still there? Some one of moment, my friend. One moment, my friend. I have now a question. I am questioning the truthfulness of your God. Did God speak the truth when he, when he said, the day you eat is God in the Bible. The day you eat, whoever, the day you eat from this tree, you will die. You, Adam, will die. Because Adam didn't die, was God speaking the truth? The answer is no. Was he speaking? Okay, so Mansour's claim is the biblical God, this guy's guy in the blue hoodie, his God, for one, I thought that the biblical God and the Quranic God are the same, but that's a different subject. But Mansour's claim is that the day that Adam ate of the tree that was forbidden, he did not die. Therefore, the biblical God, the God of the Bible, was lying. Now, I will make the claim that Mansour is utterly wrong here. Adam did die in the day that he ate of the forbidden tree. That the biblical God was not lying. And this goes to show me that Mansour's knowledge and understanding of biblical prophecy is grossly lacking. His knowledge and understanding is schoolboyish. And thus, Anything else that he says regarding our biblical scriptures, you cannot trust. Now, some will say, well, back it up. Prove that Adam did die in the day that he ate of the forbidden tree. Well, Mansour did not back up his claim. All he did was make a claim that Adam did not die in the day he ate of the forbidden tree. What I will do is offer Mansour to come together with myself and we can discuss this, we can debate it, we can come up with rules of engagement because we know that he likes rules of engagement we can do a 10 minute opening five minute rebuttal and a five minute back and forth however he wants to do it i'm sure that we can agree to something something that is honorable that we can both come together we can shed light on this and we can allow the audience to make up their own minds whether they're atheists Islamic or Christians or of the Jewish faith. The audience can decide for themselves. But I can assure you 
all who listens to this video that Adam did die in the day he ate of the forbidden tree. And it would be easy to prove it to Mansoor if we were ever to come together and do a live debate regarding this. Thus, proven his knowledge and understanding of biblical prophecy is utterly lacking. Thus, you would have to question everything that he would have to say about our biblical scriptures. And that is the goal. You can prove him wrong on one thing. Thus, you would have to question everything he says about our biblical scriptures. And I'm more than willing to jump on screen with him and prove this out. The offer is up and out there. And all he needs to do is have some self-confidence and accept it. I'll leave it there. And I hope to hear from Mansoor. Thank you for viewing. Shalom. And may the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob comfort and bless you.